Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So I just want to give you a quick update on some of the things that are rolling through with the uh, COVID-19 situation that's ongoing. We see the numbers skyrocketing ever upwards, almost in a straight line when you look at it. So some of the things of note is we have over 30,000 deaths now attributed to it, and over 10,000 of those, one-third, are in Italy. Now, again... China has 21 million missing uh, cell phone users, so, you know, the numbers are not actually true and accurate. Yet, when we look at the overall numbers right now, you see the U.S. is almost at 120,000 cases, according to GIS. This is out of John Hopkins University, and we'll look in a little more detail uh, with another tracker. Then you have Italy at 92,472, China 81,999, Spain 72,000, Germany 57,000, France 38,000, Iran 35,000, UK 17,000, Switzerland 14,000, Netherlands almost 10,000, South Korea is next at 9,400, and then Belgium, Austria, Turkey, Canada, Canada has 5546, and we go down to Australia at 3,640. So we see that it is most definitely increasing. And as far as deaths, Italy number one, Spain number two, and then China number three, and then Iran number four, and France and the UK. So European epicenter shifting into the United States now as we had expected and when we look at the u.s right here uh, you can see they're showing almost 2,000 deaths now in the u.s now look at this 921 recovered to 2,000 deaths that's two to one in the opposite way uh, so very very disconcerting you could see the uh, darker the color the more cases that there are so we could see where the epicenters are and uh, definitely places to avoid, if at all possible. And uh, number one, as far as the states, New York, 52,318 cases, 728 deaths attributed to this. Then New Jersey with 11,124, and then California with 4,956. Massachusetts is next, 4,257. Michigan after that, 4,193. Then Florida, 3763, Washington, 3743. And then we jump down to Illinois at 3491, Louisiana, 3315, Pennsylvania next at 2844. And then we have Georgia at 2366, and Texas at 2362. And so we could see that, you know, most definitely this is apparently spreading very fast. Take all your precautions. And so what is in store now? We have the National Guard troops in Texas could be doing door-to-door -door checkups around Dallas. Mm -hmm. You did hear that right. So Texas National Guard troops could end up doing door-to-door -door in, in some Dallas neighborhoods to check on residents. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins said, he said Texas National Guard troops would be on a medical mission. Not there for law enforcement reasons. They would check in with people to see who have, may have come in contact with CV-19 patients. Currently, Dallas County has 303 reported cases and seven deaths. So we look at the next headline. You see Rhode Island police to hunt down New Yorkers seeking refuge. Rhode Island police began stopping cars with New York plates on Friday. On Saturday, National Guard will help them conduct house-to-house -house searches to find people who traveled from New York and demand 14 days of self-quarantine. Right now, we have a pinpointed risk, Governor Gia Raimondo said. That risk is New York City. New York is the epicenter of the outbreak in the U.S. on Friday, reporting a total of 44,000 cases. Rhode Island has just over 200 and began an aggressive campaign to keep the virus out and to keep New Yorkers contained over objections from civil liberties advocates. So yeah, this is something I've been saying for a long time. You're going to see states shutting down their, their borders with other states. Uh, and this is now starting to really manifest along those lines. 
Here you see two arrested and 70 cited for violating stay-at-home orders, and so say the Honolulu police. And uh, violating the order is a misdemeanor offense punishable by fines of up to $5,000 and a year in jail. Well, you know, that sounds pretty severe to me. Uh, Trump eyes quarantine of New York area. So he's talking about New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut that may be quarantined. A whole section of our country shut off from the rest. And, of course, you know, the tri-state area there is a very, very populated corridor and I lived there most of my life, really, and uh, yeah, I knew instinctively uh, way back around 2000 it was time to leave the area. And, you know, I understand there's tons of people that are still living in the area and enjoying it. Just for me and, and, and my going with my intuition, uh, it led me to head down south to a uh, town of about 700 people. And, uh, you know, again, everybody has to do what they got to do. Everybody's situation is different. And we've been talking about prepping for three years. And now we see why with the manifestation of just one possibility uh, out of so many different things that we've talked about from CMEs from the sun to EMPs coming perhaps from an act of war. Well, now we have obviously a global pandemic that is likely going to rival or perhaps even uh, surpass what we saw with the Spanish flu. We will have to watch this, but most definitely uh, right now, you are seeing a complete lockdown starting to happen globally. How long will this last? Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, and I would definitely caution everybody you know, to prepare for longer instead of shorter, just in case. So here we see, you know, the lockdown of NYC and the lockdown of the tri-state area. And this is out of CNBC, enforceable quarantine. So you're not going to be able to get in or get out. And I've, you know, gotten that feeling. I've seen those visions of military vehicles just blocking borders. And it's going to be part of our life for a while. So I hope everybody is saving their seeds, starting to grow whatever they can in uh, pots and windows, whatever you can do uh, to supplement yourself. Because obviously food shortages, that's a given. It's already happening. As far as food rationing, that's a given as well. Supply, uh, supply chain issues, that's a given as well. Law enforcement problems, yes, that is going to be an issue as well as we're seeing complete um, police departments facing crisis of shortage of people because so many people are sick. So, you know, again, we have to do what we can to protect each other. And one of the things is obviously staying away from public places as much as possible. You see officers are scared out there. Uh, coronavirus is really hitting the U.S. police, and it's also hitting the U.S. military. And they've shut down a lot of their communications about that because... It is. It is truly. It's. It's a national emergency thing. So you. You don't want to uh, <laughs> broadcast just how impacted you are by this situation if you feel there's any other entities that might take advantage of the situation. And then of course we have those that think this might have been the opening shot in the bigger war. So you have more than a fifth of Detroit's police force quarantined. Two officers have died from coronavirus, and at least 39 have tested positive. And, you know, that's out of a 2,200-person department right there. And it's not just Detroit. It's happening all over the country. And, you know, you see New York Police Department, 512 have tested positive. So it's hitting all over the globe. And uh, it, it doesn't appear to discriminate when it comes to the police or the military. Australia tightens quarantine rules to combat coronavirus, warns of fines, you know, at first you're, you're going to have the fines and things along those lines and being escorted back later on. Perhaps it won't be so gentle as we go deeper into this. Singapore to jail people for six months for standing too close to strangers. Hey, you're not doing the six foot rule. So, you know, you're under arrest. Well, you know, one study out yesterday was showing that you needed to stand more like 25 feet away from people that things can spread so much easier. So be aware of that, guys. 
Russia closed all borders Monday after banning international flights. So you have 150 million people there that are on lockdown. Sweeping new powers will come into force across Northern Ireland from tonight to combat the spread of CV-19, Northern Ireland executive so says. And then, of course, we have Dr. Ron Paul saying the real danger is in the government's overreaction, which so many people realize, because once powers are given, uh, they never want to give the powers back. That's the bottom line. We, we, we have not seen any sort of retraction of the Patriot Act or anything along those lines. Everything has just constantly gone up in the opposite direction. So right now we have basically, you know, everything getting uh, federalized when you get down to it. And uh, we're going into a new system. We are going into a new system. The world's going into a new system. And we've all talked about the birth of the three letters that are so famous. And I'll leave it up for you guys to figure that out. And here we see we are all living in this together. And so if it doesn't discriminate who to target and, you know, and whether we believe that it is all this vaccine, whether we believe it's frequencies, whether we believe it's microscopic things that perhaps could get into our bronchioles and our lungs when we're inhaling air that has stuff that's seeded in it every day, you know, regardless everybody is suffering and it doesn't matter your your race your creed your nationality your political organization uh your religion here you see muslims in houston texas organizing a drive through system to distribute groceries hygienic household goods and hot meals to people for free now that's beautiful and that's what we need to see more of instead of people doing things that are negative and divisive and confrontational and taking advantage of the situation, you know, there's been so many cases of people looting and people stealing just right in front of everybody else. Let's not go there. We have to keep our vibes high. We have to be a unified humanity in the face of this obvious attack on humanity and on all life that we've seen ongoing on this planet as we are in a massive die-off. We are in a huge, huge battle against what we what we could seriously term dark forces um and we got to rise to the top and we got to share the love and share the compassion for others and don't allow negative energies negative people pull you down don't allow yourself to be controlled by fear it's understandable and it's very easy to be controlled by fear when we see everything that's happening in our world Instead, you know, let this be a, a good opportunity to practice uh, love and compassion in unity. And so we can work together to get ourselves out of this mess that we find uh, thrust upon us in these times. So thank you guys so much for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Stay safe out there. Take all precautions. Get some stuff growing in the house. God bless and namaste.